This is the Gobi Desert in East Asia. It spans across the border of China and Mongolia. And underneath it, China is building an underground nuclear lab. This lab is going to be a key research facility as they try to increase their usage of nuclear fission energy. The tried and tested brother of nuclear fusion and the type that is sometimes the subject of protests. However, despite high costs, nuclear energy is an extremely low carbon and safe method of producing energy. The fuel used in the reactors is uranium. It is a finite resource, so nuclear fission is not renewable, but many undiscovered reserves are believed to exist, so there is currently no shortage. But debating that is not the purpose of this video. Instead, we want to know what interest China has in an underground nuclear lab and what makes it so special. Well, one of the other challenges with nuclear reactors that may be on your mind is nuclear waste. And if China wants to increase their nuclear energy production and reduce the emissions from their electricity like France and Finland have, they are also going to have to deal with increased radioactive waste. Therefore, they need to understand what to do with it all. This new facility under the Gobi Desert is designed to deal with a certain type of nuclear waste, as not all waste is made equal. Nuclear waste can be low level, like contaminated tools or clothing, intermediate waste, such as filters and steel components within the reactor, and finally, high level waste, which is the spent nuclear fuel. Whilst this only makes up 3% of the waste by volume, it contains 95% of the radioactivity. Low level waste and some intermediate waste are stored at near surface disposal sites. Here the waste may be burned or crushed to reduce its size and then put into barrels and secured with concrete. These are then placed in vaults and filled up, never to be seen again. Because over many thousands of years the earth will change and shift, only waste that will decay away quickly is stored here. Therefore, if a leakage was to happen in, say, 10,000 years, the environment around it would still be safe. But this still leaves the high-level waste and some intermediate-level waste. And currently, there are no operational facilities to store this long-term. Instead, all high-level waste is currently being stored at reactors or centralized sites during the first stages of its decay, allowing it to sit for 50 years or so makes the waste easier and safer to handle. Specifically, this reduces the radioactivity to around the level of the original ore. But this waste will need to be transported somewhere in the near future. Enter China's new Beishan Underground Nuclear Research Lab. Here, scientists are determining the site's suitability for deep geological disposal of high-level nuclear waste. This involves burying the nuclear waste up to a thousand meters below the surface and is globally recognized to be the best solution for dealing with this waste. The research lab will be located 500 meters underground, so the conditions roughly matched where the nuclear waste may be disposed of in the future. But why is underneath the Gobi Desert the best place for this? When choosing the potential sites, the scientists had a long list of criteria. Some of these result from the fact that high-level nuclear waste will remain radioactive for many thousands of years. Therefore, if a leakage was to happen in 10,000 years time, unlike low level waste, it could impact human lives and the environment. These criteria ensure that the waste buried deep underground won't be affected by rising sea levels, earthquakes or volcanic activity, among other things. Considering this, the Gobi Desert is a smart choice. It isn't near any tectonic plate boundaries, which cause earthquakes and volcanoes, and the granite rock that the desert sits on prevents water leaks that could cause issues. The site is also not considered an environmentally sensitive area and big oil will remain happy as it doesn't interfere with any of their reserves. So that is why the lab is being built underneath the desert, but what will actually happen inside of it? After a predicted seven years and $420 million for construction, the first stage will be to test out the practical suitability of the site. And if everything goes well, the lab will expand out with over 13 kilometers of tunnels. This will convert the site from a lab into a fully operational deep geological disposal site by 2050. To understand what will happen from here, we can take a look at a similar facility under construction in Finland. This is Onkelo. After a few setbacks, it is set to be the world's first deep geological disposal 
for high-level nuclear waste, opening in 2024. At a similar depth to the Chinese facility, tunnels are being dug to create space for canisters which will be filled with nuclear waste. The high-level waste is first assembled into cast iron inserts and then protected by a non-corrosive copper shield. These will be lowered 400 meters using a winch and collected by robotic vehicles underground. These will then place the containers into custom drilled holes before filling them up with bentonite clay. Once all of these holes are full, the tunnel will be backfilled and capped off with concrete. So that is China's plan and reasoning for a nuclear waste research lab. Please subscribe for more and leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, check out this video on the United States solar plane for military domination.